In this section, I will show you how to install the SQL Server Management Objects using the GUI interface. So just open the CD for SQL installation and click on the Setup. And click on the Installation. And we click on the new SQL Server Standalone. And as you know, we have already installed SQL Server in the previous section. So in this case, we just add a new feature into the existing SQL Server. So we don't update anything. So all we need to do is just click on the Next. Set up when complete all the initial steps, and in this case, as we mentioned earlier, all we need to do is add uh, select add feature to an existing SQL 2014 instance, and in order to install the SQL Server Management Objects. In this case, we need to select the Client 2 SDK. And here's some uh, feature description uh, that you can read more about it. And click Next. Now we gonna install the client to SDK so we click on the install. So as you know SQL Server Management Objects were introduced with SQL Server 2005 to allow SQL Server to be accessed and managed programmatically. SQL Management Object can be used in any .NET language, including C Sharp, VB.NET, and PowerShell. And uh, SQL Management Object comprises two distinct classes, the Instant classes and the Utility classes. The Instant classes are the SQL Server objects, the properties of the objects, such as a server, databases, and tables can be accessed and managed using the instant classes. The utility classes are helper or utility classes that accomplish common SQL server tasks. The classes belong to one of four groups, transfer, Backup and restore classes or the scripter classes to gain access to the SQL management object library. SQL management object need to be installed and the SQL server related uh, assembly needed to be loaded. So we have been successfully install and click close and we close this section and we are done.